Okay, your happy king is back. You know, it, we, we, we're going to get back to classes and, and learning. And uh, what we're supposed to cover right now is the uh, what happens when you ask God for something. And he totally gives you a different package than what you asked for. It seems to fit what happened last night. Yeah, that uh, it's my positive way of looking at this. See, uh, when you sit down on your knees and you're like, Father, I need this, I need this, and, and would you please help me with this? And and, and and all of a sudden the idea comes to your head that, okay, cool, I'll do that. And then you go do it. And you're like, no, that ain't what I asked. No. Then you have to stop and think, okay, all right. Why in the hell did he do that? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Do you remember I told you that saying, I don't know how what far back those tapes go, that uh, uh, God works in mysterious ways? I know I've said it. I know I have. God does work in mysterious ways. And sometimes he answers in a way he thinks best. So as you're going through and you look at what happened versus what you asked, you try to figure out why did he give that instead of what you asked. And if you look at it a little bit finer, you come up with your answer. And the answer is, is I need to keep my ass right here until I get the glow package. Because, uh, that's best for everything and everybody. And uh, it's uh, what it needs to be. It's not what I want, which is to hang out with somebody and be able to talk to him for three days while I wait this countdown out. It's what he thinks is right. I need to sit right here. And so if you, you question it out and you ask him, why did you do that? And and you cut that idea, you check it with your heart, and you're like, okay, yeah. I totally get it now. Thank you, Father. Uh, uh, thanks. Yeah, it's okay. I appreciate it. I understand now. And, and you move on. Because uh, a lot of times when you ask for something, it's not really what you need to, to, to solve your problem. A lot of times you're asking for his help to solve your problem. And that's what he does. Because, see, you can ask him for the solution to fix your problem. But he may give you a solution that's different than what you wanted for that problem. He'll uh, show you another way to solve that problem. Because in your head, you've already solved it. You just need, yeah, th this. Uh, give me this and have it show up here and we're going to be good. All right. Are you following me now? I know this is getting kind of deep and heavy, but uh, men are going to probably really struggle with this one. Uh, we, we have issues, but we do. Um, we want what we want, and we want it right the way we get it. Actually, no, women are like that too. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Everybody, you're going to have problems with this. That's uh, that's going to be a general package one. Uh, you know, we, we decide what we want to fix our problems, and we tell them, and we expect that. Nah, it's not how it works. Yep, yep. He gives you his answer. So, uh, that's the lesson we learned today. That's the lesson. We get what we we really need, not what we want. And uh, that's kind of how this system works. You ask, and I giveth. But I giveth what I want to give. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. You know, uh, it, there's there's only so many parables I can put with this one to make it work. You might have to play this one over twice. Yeah, for anybody else. Um, but uh, you know, he also told me some cool stuff about me. Yeah, yeah. So now I get to share it with you guys. I'm supposed to share it with the Queen, but I understand. I understand. God works in mysterious ways. Turns out that little glow package I got coming, it's going to shave 20 years off me, dude. I, I uh, yeah, maybe more. Uh, turns like I, I, I'm going to be a young man. Uh, not young, young. Uh, and I'm not going to be 14 cruising around the world. No, uh, I'm going to be uh, 
I don't know, somewhere in the 30s. I don't know exactly. It's the best way he's explaining it to me. Not only that, but he's going to shave a few pounds off me. So don't get that robe and stuff and clothes figured out just yet, okay? Dude, I don't know what size I'm going to be. Turns out he's talking 32-inch waist. Dude, I haven't had 32-inch waist since I was clear to hell back in high school, guys. I mean, even in high school, I, I my graduating year, I couldn't put in a 32. My gut was getting big then. Uh, I do not know how this is going to work, uh, but that's what he's telling me. And that was what I was supposed to tell the queen, so she didn't freak out about getting this frog package she had coming because uh took this old man that uh beer gut from hell and uh constellation map for a back uh, oh my gosh i was so embarrassed going to that x-ray oh my gosh they put the gown on me and she wheels me down the hall with this uh cart and my back is totally open i mean i had my pants on okay i wasn't running around with my pants on all right but my my i had no shirt on under that gown and she's pushing me along, and I guarantee you, man, she's counting stars on my back. Oh, my God, look at this man's back. Look at those. Oh, temple. Oh, man. Scarred land. I guarantee you that damn thing looks like a crater of the moon on my back. Another one of those wonderful things he gave me on my, my flesh package. Yeah. I have been all my life. I could not get that. It's okay to get them on your face because you can take care of those. What the hell you do in the middle of your back, dude? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it just had to happen. Turns out, perfect skin, too, coming with that package. All that shit's going to be gone. Every flaw on my body is going to be gone. I will actually have a perfect body. At least in his version. I mean, he drew it up. It's, yeah. So, uh. Bring on the glow package. I am so ready. Oh, that poor gal. She had to stare at that constellation map as we're going to the x-ray. I'm sure she's seen worse. I hope I didn't damage her or see the bad things in the world. But you know what? It's going to be all right because it's going to be gone. And that's uh, that's one good thing that came from that uh, little journey uh, that I learned just before I went. It was part of my motivation to get there. I was going to be able to tell her that hey, hey, this frog package is going to be gone, okay? Just chill. It's cool. And, uh, yeah. So I'm telling you. What? All right. I uh, need coffee. I need cigarettes. And I need music. And I'm thinking of doing better. I, I, I made it through that segment with the positive attitude. I, uh, I still don't feel so good. Yeah. Hey, 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 you know, it's what he's doing to me. Last time he got me there. That's, I'm telling you, no more walks of faith. Bullshit. I ain't walking out that door. We said, oh, shit, I got to get money yet. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe one more walk of faith. And I to, he, he did pretty good on that one. He's always done good when it comes to getting the, the money I need to, to figure out to survive. But, uh. It's been kind of nice. Just give me a big old chunk there so that I didn't have to do this every, but I know what it is. It's like, give him a little bit. Oh, now you're out again. I'll give him a little bit. Oh, shit. You're out. Oh, oh, damn. Now what are you here? Here, here. Okay. There's a little bit more. Oh, shit. That's the last we got. We ain't got no more. Oh, damn. Oh, here. Go over here. Oh, my God. Oh, so bit rid of retin. All right. Anyway, uh, that was a half. Class, half bitch moan. I'm going to get full class next time. I guarantee you. I'm working my way back to being the teacher and not the bitcher. All right? So give me a chance. It it, it was pretty traumatizing last night. It really was. Uh, Yeah, I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. I'll be back.